Hey guys, Tiger7 here. If you clicked on this video, you want to know if the IP68 rating is excellent enough for you to risk your very expensive smartphone in water. I went to Clearwater Beach for a vacation and the beach was so beautiful that I could not stop myself from swimming and taking a lot of pictures with my newly Galaxy S9. I love the pro setting on this device. It is just incredible. Here are some pictures that I took while swimming. The reality is that I spent a total of an hour taking pictures that day. At the sunset, I wanted to review my pictures after a nap and boom, my phone is dead. I freaked out, but the phone was still working due to the blue light near the front facing camera. The LCD was doing a lot of weird things. Once I got home, I decided to look inside the smartphone. Here it is the usual stuff. If you've been watching my video, you already know how to get inside any Samsung Galaxy. Further disassembly ahead. Look at all this white stuff. It's all salt. It looks like the water entered the phone from the charging port. Look at all the corrosion near the charging port. Let's start cleaning with a low percentage rubbing alcohol. Let's take a look at the motherboard. At first it looks fine but the truth is ahead. From what I see, the water entered from the loudspeaker and the charging port. You can see here the white stuff is salt. It got into a lot of small components. You can even see the water marks. I'm going to clean the motherboard with alcohol again. Let's clean the last speaker too. More cleaning ahead. Let's dry all these electronics. Water clearly entered here first. I put everything together and hope my phone will work again. Yeah, it is responding. The digitizer is dead unfortunately. Let's remove the rest of the salt. Since it's not charging anymore, let's soak this piece in alcohol. Do not forget to dry everything in order to avoid any more disaster. It looks better now. Let's try to turn on the device and see what's gonna happen. The phone is not responding and the LCD is toasted. At this point I knew it was the end. The LCD is toasted. Let's get into the LCD and see what damage the seawater has done. Here again is the usual stuff. I'm just taking out the LCD. Here also as you can see there is watermarks and salt everywhere. You can see where the water sat and eat the LCD. There is salt and even burning signs, maybe due to the heat gun or probably the salt. I guess swimming with an IP68 rating is not a good idea. Here is the proof. My phone is completely not responsive and the LCD is dead. I have to replace the LCD. It looks like the circuit board of the LCD was flooded with water. I will probably get a new LCD and digitizer soon in order to fix this phone. Thank you guys for watching, share, subscribe and like, until next time.